This is his word, are you a cop? Before I start off, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We want to celebrate Christmas. And today I'm going to give you an update on my 2001 Buick Century Custom. With When I got the... When I first made a video, I had 48,836 miles. And now it has like... And now it reached 50,000 miles just a couple of days ago. So let's see how much this actually has. So here, yeah, I took off the tag of it and it still says... Yeah. <coughs> Let's see, I forgot how much it has. It has about 50,028 miles. So it drives the same. It's a four, it's a four speed automatic transmission with overdrive. Yeah, I forgot to mention some points of the uh, transmission. <coughs> This is how you, for those that want to, no, never mind. Um, I had a little problem with the car. I'll open the engine up, I'll pop the engine and I'll show you. And the headlights and the hazards one more time. Only the driver's window is automatic, but it's only automatic down. It's a 3.1 liter 3100 series V6. Um, I did say I had like a problem with the engine, and that was sometimes the, before I had this car. The previous owner of it, it's, it's been garage kept before I owned it, and um, it really affected the engine and it clocked something in it to the point where I couldn't drive it without having to take my foot off the gas and, uh, you know, take my foot off the gas to let it shift. But I did promise the last video I'll do a test drive, so how about we take it? First thing you gotta do when, when driving this Sentry is gotta give it some respect. Otherwise, that happens. It's first person view. It sounds great. The concert sound stereo six speakers. This car gets 20 miles per gallon in the city and 29 on the highway. I before I got it repaired, I had a. Uh, I usually use premium unleaded gas on this, and it's proven to be pretty good. So if you have an older Buick, like say 2000, like kind of this, like 2001 or. <coughs> Pardon me. Or older than that, then I'd probably recommend you put a premium in it. I don't have a tripod, so I'm pretty much driving with one hand right now. <laughs> Good thing I'm not doing this in the street. The police will stop me right away. So... This is a, this is my neighborhood. Uh, where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? <laughs> it's 923, wow. 
Um, I know 2016 is coming up, and at that point I'll be done with school, and um, kind of when I did this video for an update video on what's going to happen to the channel for next year, I'm going to try and uh, get into college, and try and get a faster computer, this is chance here with my right hand getting tired of holding the camera, but um, I'm going to try and, uh, you know, get a, get a faster computer, get a game catcher device, and continue. Also continue with the uh, Ed Head series. The next series we really want to do is a hip. Is the hip one? Watch out! This engine comes from, I think, the 3100 Series B6 is also in the Pontiac Grand Prix, I believe, in the Chevrolet Impala. Funny enough, here's a new gen. There was a new generation of Impala that I just we just bought. We just passed by. Um, winter's here, so the next video I want to do is a cold start of this thing, even though it's not a diesel or yeah, that's my dad. It's my father's. 2007 GMC Sierra and uh, my cousin's 2004 I believe Hummer H2 but I don't have the keys for them right now so the Hummer I don't have the keys for and neither for the Sierra since my dad took them <laughs> well guys I hope you enjoyed the test drive one more time. I think it has a rev limiter, but... Thanks for watching, guys. Ready to go cop out? Happy holidays.